Hello and welcome back to Ireland. The Pope doesn't like us, but... Oh well, can I anoint a uh, point of successor for my bishop here? The current successor appears to be my brother. Dom Chad Muck. No, that's a totally different brother. Why would it be him? I want it to be the other brother, ideally. Dom let's have him as the successor here. We're going into battle. And I hope we are successful. We have more men, and I think we have a better tactic this time. So we're going to give it a good go. Excellent, we have a betrothal match for our son. Bit of an age difference, only six years. It's been worse. I did, as a 103-year-old Ward of Frey, have sex with my 28-year-old great-granddaughter. So that's not, that's not the worst thing. If you want to check out the series, just go to the channel page and you'll see it in playlists. Excellent, the battle here has begun. We uh, outnumbered them on the centre and on the other flank, but there, this flank here is pretty strong. So we are being outflanked there. Hopefully we can win this before they lose. Can we? No, we can't. Can we hold a morale, however? Hold your morale and turn on them. Excellent, so we should be able to... Yeah. No! No! How did they hold it? This balanced army is a huge issue for us. So close to getting rid of that flank there. We're losing too many men compared to our enemies. That's minus 100%. Oh, I was in prisons. Oh, shizer. Am I going to be able to get out of jail here? Please let me out before the war is over. That's a shame. I lost my money. And we lost, uh, that is a huge shame to lose that. Especially when we outnumbered them in the last two battles that we lost. That's, uh, there's not much more I could have done there. There really isn't much more I could have done. That's, that, that really is a huge shame. I'm, uh, I'm disappointed there that we lost that. So we'll send our men home, we will regroup and we will come back stronger than ever. A huge shame for, uh, Earl Rudry here to lose, but we will uh, take a diplomatic focus, the one of family, for some extra health. Shame that we can't fight, but maybe one day we'll learn. Our alliance here still holds very good. There's no point in allying the uh, guys over here when they are currently busy. Uh, we, we still will, but I will limit my alliances. I'll limit my alliances to either one powerful family. I'll limit it to one powerful family. I'm only allowed one powerful family with over 1,000 levy. As for below 1,000 levy, I'll limit myself to two. So that's three allies in total. One with over 1,000 levy, two with below 1,000. That's a little rule I'm going to impose on myself so I can't just spam out children, get alliances all over the board and just destroy everyone. Because it is very overpowered and I don't want to play like that. Anyway, it is a shame we, uh, we lost them. We won't be able to go back at them for a very long time. However, hopefully we will be able to go after these other individuals soon enough. He does have an ally, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Hopefully we do fabricate a claim. We have a bit of money. We lost an amount, which it is a shame. We can't get anything good here just yet. We could get better fortification. No size tax income fortification level. I'll go for this one. It takes a bit longer, but we'll go for it. Spend a fair amount of our money on that. Let's go to Intrigue. Can't expel the Jews. We can search for a smith. What I would like is to buy indulgence for my sins. I would like that as a special marker so I know whenever it comes up. Also, hosting a feast. I would like to do that every so often. I'm a good man. I should be hosting feasts. One day. Lose 25 gold. Why, why is it not currently an option? Ah, of course, the months. And we have to have prestige. Of course. We just lost the war, we don't have prestige. My daughter, father, father, she calls, pulling at my arm, pleading to play with her and her latest toy, completely oblivious to all of the important work I am in the middle of. She's two years old. Of course she's oblivious. Anyway, let's, let's be a good man. Let's look after her here and hopefully make her kind. We didn't. We did not make her kind. That's a shame, but I'm a, I'm a great diplomat. Can we maybe teach you to be better at stuff as well? You're not the best right now, are you, my, my son? Also, could I have a second commander? One that actually works. Because you were never in the field of battle. Or were you? 
Adon? Adon is a council member, of course. That's where we went wrong. Okay, let's have my son. See if we can teach him. Oh, excellent. My wife is pregnant. That is terrific. My brother-in-law, would you like to join our court? No. Uh, would you like a wife of your own? I don't have any. Any wives uh, within the court we can create? No, no women. Is there anybody who deserves women? We do have a chancellor here. Ah, excellent. We lose 45 gold and 50 prestige. Very good. We gain a strong county on our Grialda. He has 628 men. We have 662 plus our friend over here. I will use it. We lose a bit of prestige. It's a shame. And then what we'll do is we'll call you back to perform statecraft. But as for you, we will declare war upon you because I want more land. We'll claim his land and then hopefully he'll be able to save up and become a duke. That would be great. I declare war upon you. I'll not call in you because you are in Scotland. I'll call in you, however, because you are my good friend. It's always, uh, it's always good to be good to your friends. Excellent. Raise the men at once. We'll get all of our army over to the capital and hopefully our good friend will be able to join us. Before they hurt our forces. Right, could we have you join us over here as soon as possible, please, good sir? We might lose some of our men here. Oh, only 13 are at risk. That's not terribly bad. A good distraction force. Excellent, 1,000 men. We will, uh, that's not what I'm after. I'm after this. I would like to move my men to the flanks. Aid, Dom Charles, and me on the other flank. Excellent. Hopefully this is a good enough force to take over these men. We have two alright flanks. I'm hoping that my ally is all in the centre. And so they are. We immediately destroy their two other flanks. We are outflanking them on both sides. This is excellent. We're going to add this here province to our territory. Very good. Very good indeed. All you have to do is besiege this here area and we'll be well in there. Cross Larry's race too long? Yeah, I'm sure. My son, your wife is, uh, future wife is now 12. Interesting. My daughter, betrothed to my uh, nephew, he's 15, she's free. And then we do have, oh! My half-brother has become the Prince Bishop. And he is now dead. Our other half-brother is uh, just doing what he does. He would like a marriage. Um, he's not really worthy of one. If there was a low-born woman around, he could marry her. If he asked one, he can marry as he pleases. But we don't have any women of the court. Let's have a see if there is anybody who will join me. Any good youngsters? There's a young Irish woman here. From a family. Who's the head of your family? Uh, your father. You see, not too useful of a family. Anybody else here? Any good uh, individuals? Nobody really takes my fam uh, my fancy. We can't have women in charge of armies anyway. Okay, we'll just uh, leave them where they lie. As we go through this here siege. Led by the Tannist. My son. He best learn how to lead armies well because we're going to need that later on. He doesn't have any other decent stats. Ah, an extra daughter. We'll not call her fine. We'll call her Deirdre. Deirdre is a lovely name. We'll teach her about etiquette as well. Always good to learn about etiquette. Let's get through this siege. Excellent. We gained some money from it. And let's... Oh, Well, we barely can. Let's try and get through this one as well before we lose any men. Oh, I have died. Oh, that's a huge shame. No, lines is broken down. Earl Rudry has given up th the ghost at the age of 43. He died of poor health. Cursed with an unhealthy love for food. My damned brother who convinced me to become fat. He was known for his massive girth. What, around the penis? Many at court were fearing that his habits would lead him to an untimely de uh, demise. Uh, that's a shame. That is a real shame, but... We are now Ed. And Ed will take the focus of... Hunting. He'll be a hunter. He has two sisters and a wife shortly. Yes, my father. His... Maybe we could marry her instead. 
We do have good cultural uh, ties to the other house. She's not in my court, though. She's known as Lucky. Okay, we're going to break this betrothal. And we're going to go to you. We're going to go to your daughter. And we're going to attempt to marry her. We're going to attempt to marry the widow of my father. They'd prefer matrilineal marriage. He has good opinion of me, however. She has good opinion. He has good opinion. But let's make it a bit better. Let's see if this is able to get us the marriage that we desire. Me to her. Still no. Why with this matrilineal marriage? Now, this is a huge shame. I was hoping we were able to get him here. Let's see how close it is. I don't want to have to have wasted money here. Opinion is pretty high. Prestige effects. It is the desire for matrilineal which is uh, screwing us over here. But what about... Did she take her kids with her? No. Would you like to just come over? No, she has an opinion of his, him much higher. But what about now? We have just wasted a lot of money on these, this damned woman. Waste a lot of money on her. Okay, well you do have a brother. Can I get a betrothal with uh, with one of my halves? This is good. We'll try and get the alliance back that way. It's a, sh it's a shame that I uh, missed out on everything there. But we'll try and reinstate our betrothal here if they will have it. We're not doing too well here, are we? We might have to send him a gift as well. I mean, we did just upset the man. 45 58. He would be a great friend. He would be a great friend to us. We'll go over out in lines for now. He is in the war, and that is what matters. He's decided to accept the betrothal, and they will all accept the alliance. Good. It's a shame that I was unable to marry her. But we are again allied to our good friends across the pond. Excellent. 100% war score. I will take that. We now have three provinces. What we want, though, is the Dutch. We need 200 gold for it, however. So we should try and get that. Try and get 200 gold. Now, how would we do such a thing? Let's not lose, old men. Very good. Right, the capital uh, can gain a few more. But I need shekels. You. You no longer have an alliance. We have some men. I would like to extort tribute. What happens if I win? If we win the war, I gain 200 prestige and he becomes a tributary. I could use the prestige as well, but what I really want is money. We would gain money from his uh, from his provinces, and we do have more men than him, plus our good friend. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to extort tribute from this man, and we're going to fix out our cancel while we can. Our spy master will be the best man for the job. We'll send him over to study technology. Oh shit. Send him down to study technology in Paris. And we need a new marshal. We will pick the best man for the job. And we'll get him to train troops in the capital. No one else is really a fan of us at the moment. It is a shame. Nobody is really a fan of us. We need to have some feasts. Turn everyone over to our side a bit. But for now, let's call in our good friend and let's raise our troops. Because we need some money. And this man... Is not really willing to give it to us, but he could give it to us. Let's just charge everyone in here, shall we? And hope our friends turn up on time. Good, we did defeat him. Let's go all the way to his capital and let's begin this siege. Very good. Shouldn't be too long. We'll uh, we'll lead it because I am the man. We won't worry about uh, worry about troop composition. Oh, I'm, as I said, I'm already in here anyway. So we'll simply uh, lead the siege. We'll go through here, try to get as much money as we can. Is there anything we can do with prisoners? No, there's not. I can't explore the jewelry either. We could buy indulgence for our sins, but we don't need that. What we need is money. There's 13 ducats. We'll go through these two as well and take theirs. Money is the greatest thing in the realm right now for us. 200 gets us a duchy title, and I want to be a duke. I deserve to be a duke. Let's see what this man is willing to give us. Offer peace and force demands. Here's our tributary. Could release him if I want. I'll lose prestige, but let's not do that. Excellent. We could then do the same with Brienne down here. He, again, is pretty strong. Never mind. Is you, again, pretty strong. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is probably stay at peace for a bit here. I gain health or potentially plasma. The cook has prepared a magnificent meal with lots of different fruits, various kinds of meats, plenty of freshly baked bread, and several mature cheeses. Yeah, let's gain some health. Now for all a good bit of health. Can I have a wife? Perhaps. They would give me the Dunbar. Excellent. I'll take her. She can be my beloved wife. And I'll uh, form an alliance with you if you'll take me. Excellent. Very good. A huge fan of that. Money is going up. Nicely. What is this? Alas, I have chest pains. There is a disease in Ireland. I'm going to shut the gates at once. My heir is currently my cousin, who is married, uh, marrying my sister. Interesting. I haven't personally elected, but I don't exactly have many choices. I can go for the guy who's my useless uncle, I can go for my cousin. Not the uncle's actually slightly better, so I'll vote for him instead. Alas, I've gained fatigue. This is a shame. What disease is here? Consumption. Ah. Well, uh, at least I can get married. Oh, she's got uh, uncouth. She's a bit, bit of a grubby bugger. And I might not be alive much longer, but we have fulfilled our concern of getting married. And we've gained some money out of it. Excellent. Thank you for the wife. Now, if only I could survive this illness. I could look for a, uh, a guy to look after us. What are they called? Court Physician. I could look for that. Ah. Uh, so, what can we do? Commander. Give that position to you. Yeah, there's not much I can do here right now. Alas, I have gained consumption. This is a huge shame, but hopefully I can become a duke before the end of my life. Excellent. The Duchy of Ulster is created. Terrific. What I'll do is I will change the colour of this orange to red to match the uh, the hand of Ulster, the right, the red right hand. With our red rose, of course. And I will choose the ambition here to become King of Islands. I'm not sure if that's going to be possible. I am more likely to die. But, oh well. We'll nominate a successor. I will uh, nominate my uncle again. Am I the only one who can vote now? Because there's no lower tier than me. And some extra commander slots. Terrific. We'll uh, choose whoever's not busy, which is currently all of you, so we'll just choose anyone for that. Alright. Anybody want to uh, keep me alive? That would be great. It would be the greatest, honestly. The greatest thing I could hope for would be surviving. Alright, what is a special minor style available commander? Yeah, I, I know, but not much I can really do. How are you doing, Chancellor? You happy over there? Good man. What is this again? Ah, court physician. We can get a physician. Excellent. Good sir, could you please treat me for this illness? My life is in your hands. I should have never done that. But at least I can, I can get a dog, eh? My spy master Aiden has sent me a gift. It is a small puppy, but of the finest pedigree and destined to grow into a great hunting dog. I guess that's something. We'll name him Hunter. It's it's not looking good for us right now. We have consumption and negative health traits. So the chances of us surviving pretty darn low right now. So we might be seeing uh, Donald the Gentle getting in power here. But we'll arrange him nothing. He can be a caretaker until somebody else takes power. Today at court, your hunting dog's dog suddenly flew into a rage. Tore loose and attacked one of your courtiers. Oh no! Aina has been uh, hurt here. She's been wounded. That's a shame. Life in seclusion isn't so bad. After finishing a hearty breakfast, you belch contendly and remark upon your foresightness to in, in, in ensuring Tyr Cornell's larders were well stocked. However, as soon as the words leave your lips, you notice the sudden panicked look on your servant's face. My king, you just ate the very last pickled boar's head. Whoa, a boar's head? And almost all of our other food stocks are nearing exhaustion. Furthermore, your servant continues to drone on, but you are too aghast to listen. 
No more pickled boar heads. Now that sucks. You have searched, Tier Chornail, from top to bottom and have come to realise there really are no more pickled boar heads. Not only that, but all other food stocks are near an exhaustion. Your servant really should have mentioned that. They just did. Now, everyone's losing some health here. We might all starve to death, but I'm going to seek a treatment for my illness again. And we'll see what the... Uh, see what happens, what the reaction to sequence for treatment is next episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you are enjoying this slower-paced uh, storytelling roleplay series. King Ed is uh, in a bad spot right now, but we'll see how it goes. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.